We've been looking to do some agility training, kinda tired of running on rooftops. Time to finally look at the Hollowed Sepulchre. Going into this knowing it's mostly just an obstacle course. Head on over to Darkmire, and if I'm in the right spot, we'll see what awaits us inside. So far I see a statue of Ziliana, or just a generic Icene statue. Two bank chests, two staircases, and this guy to talk to. So it looks like I'm not required to wear Serotomin items, as long as I don't have any other god items on. Neat, it looks like you can just store your equipment with him. Okay, so it looks like everything's pretty cheap from the store, and I'm gonna want to grab the hollowed ring first. Well, let's just get started. Actually, let me grab an emergency teleport first. Well, I guess that's what these are. Yeah, never mind. No, let's just go in. Does it matter which of these I choose? So there's scorch marks where they come from it, but not all of the statues are up, and not all of the broken ones are broken. So these two don't move, those two don't move. Seems simple enough. So you throw a sword and then it comes back. Just run past that. More fire. And that's it. Okay, what's this? A broken bridge? Can you actually come down that way if you can jump these? Ooh, I have to have a Serotomin item to use the obelisk. I wonder if I can do this. Quickie, tell me. It does. So the bridge needs a hammer, saw, two planks, and five steel nails. And I'm also needing to remember to grab a grapple hook. And this thing takes me right back to the lobby, so you don't even really need the crystals. Now we have a saw, hammer, planks, nails, graceful outfit with a serotomin cape, and a grapple. Let's see what this one looks like now. Yes, and don't ask me again. This is different. Okay, so let's just avoid the darts. Safe here, safe up here. Ow. Okay, they don't damage too much. I should have enough time to get through. Yeah, safe here. Safe up here. Jump downstairs. See, and I'm still on the same side, so that means that, that probably we can come from over there. Alright, let's grapple the pillar. And I believe traps are what we're looking for. Collection log slot for the hollowed mark. And speaking of, these pages are why I'm going to keep looting this coffin. The Serotum and Cape does work. We only have 21 seconds, but let's see what's downstairs. More statues to watch. Should... nope. Damn it. Alright, it does give you more time whenever you go down floors. Where does it auto-path me if I just click? It takes me down the right hand side. So I wonder... Wait for a different shield to move. Click up. If you see the right statue, get over. Just move the way over. Cool, yeah. So I don't have to worry about one arrow that way. Alright, so that just teleports you back a little bit. Looks like from here I'm gonna go up and around the corner. Let's just go now. Answer the quick question of does the tile skip with running work diagonally? 
It does. Okay. Sacrifice. Okay, so we need vampire dust. Wait, was that not the inn? That was the coffin for this floor because all this does is run up and then hop over. Great. Again, if I'm assuming like the last time, I should automatically path down the right hand side. So if we just click from here, wait until he shoots and it passes. I'm home free if he doesn't fire. Beautiful. Alright, I do have everything for the sepulcher turned on and the agility plugin. I think the only other thing I want to use is the ground markers. How do I mark them? Shift key. Understood. Okay. So you can write on them too. Good to know. So this one looks like it's safe. You are as well. So are you. So are you. You and you. Almost ran straight into the trap. And that's the exit. Perfect. From here I want to be standing at the closest mark. The next one does shoot all the way down. Yep. So we'll do this maneuver because we'll skip that tile entirely when the sword's there. So we'll go from here to the next safe spot, or the closest safe spot, and I'm going to guess that we're going to go straight down the left hand side. So as long as he's not shooting, we're good. And as long as he's not shooting, we're good. Aha! Uh -huh. That'll take us to this side where we can fix a bridge. Oh, I have to make it there before the timer ends. Alright, that's fair. This will be a mix of looting and labeling. But does it matter which door I enter? Because this is the same one again. Yep, see, there's the path I was just on. So this one, we come to here. We have the shooters, so I'm safe on this one. Next closest safe spot should be here. And as long as the right-hand side isn't shooting, we're good. Perfect. More fires. I'm late. Yep. That one looks safe, too. It is. So is here. I wonder if I can make it in 30 seconds to loot it. But can we make it back to get to the next floor? Awesome. It takes like literally 30 seconds to do that. And we're gaining hollowed marks. Alright, floor 2. We've seen this obstacle before. Run the right hand side unless he shoots. Awesome. And we've seen these, but we know this is the closest spot. And I think I'm wanting this one as the landing point. I could probably run after it too. Nothing is active in front of me, so when it comes back, we step one forward and then go. Just to skip over that tile. Ooh, that's dangerous. But we still made it. Holy crap, that's cool. Okay. I don't remember what's after this. It's the ashes. Alright, that's literally all for floor two. Awesome. It takes two ashes to do that. I thought it was going to be one. That's not the end of the floor. Hop over. 
Keep running, hop over, keep running. And right as we make it, the doors close. Let's see if we can make it to floor three, or if we run into new obstacles. So it doesn't matter which side you go down, because I went down the other door and it gave me the same ones. Fires, fires, that didn't work. But I wonder if I can run from here straight through. Awesome, so I'm gonna actually take those off. And while we're at it, these. And when it's clear, can I run straight through? Almost, but not. No, and it takes me right back to here. So we'll go here. Clear these. One more. No, I wanted to... Yeah, okay. Whoops, but at least we get to go for floor two again. We've been here before. Golden. Nothing's in the way. Possibly could have made that, but I feel safer having it follow me. Jump one and go. Let me head this way. Can I pass through it? I need to do it every time. So that probably means every time that I build a bridge, I need to get more planks. Oh, we're po- wait, did I not lose it? Did I not get- Okay, so I get poisoned, but it doesn't actually loot it. So if I get the experience drop, I loot it, but otherwise I'm just gonna get poisoned. That's fantastic. <laughs> And then from here we have these guys. He's not shooting, so we should be free. Unless it's the left, we might get clipped, but it's unlikely. I'm gonna guess. Sweet. All right, but that didn't cure my poison. Let's get an anti-poison. Ooh, I have a new section. I'm gonna guess I can't st I can stand here. Full clearance. Nothing in the way here. So now we know I don't need to mark the back end of the safety tiles, just run right through. And at least for these guys, we'll move the landing tile instead of it being this square up one. That way we can play this game with them. If it's not on the left side, we're good. It's so freaking amazing to do that. Just let autopilot guide you. And I'm not gonna bother building the bridge, just so we can make it to floor two. This is new. Safety tile, only through here. That one you can just run through it. Cause that's a double, but that's only a single. Right, even when it's shooting, I could just skip it and go to this one. You can't run through it. Oh. Oh, that changes things a little bit. Not dramatically, but at least how we continue to approach this. Get out. Next task is figuring out where to... Oh, okay, so it's behind the wall. Running from here, it would actually path me around this direction. Perfect, so this would be my marking tile. The statue's in down here. So something like that is going to be my landing tile. And we play the game of, if it's not the right side firing, you should be in the clear. And if it is, just hop over a second. Gah. Try to be more close in line with where your character model actually is standing. So like this. And we're free. This is the one we would want. Because in theory, I should be able to just straight click this and either get away scot-free or only get a boost. Yes! Alright, and there's where the coffin would be. Oh, there's more. Not bad markings. Just an empty coffin. So there's really only those end-of-level coffins to loot, huh? Why do I do that to myself? Home free. You can skip it. Yep. So don't even need this one. You can just run through the whole thing at the end. So the ground markers do come in handy. Sometimes. This is the only time I've used them until now. What about here? Do I have any skips? I can just run straight to this one between the flames. Right on. If it's not on the left, we're fine. Perfect. Hey, we get to build our first bridge. What's going on here? Grapple the pillar. Huh? I 
can't grapple the pillar? But either way, moving on. Don't need to mark anything until here, other than since this will turn into click the yellow squares. Hey idiot, it's this direction. Nice, should be the right hand side. Right into the safe spot. For you, we'll run up closest. And I should be able to just corner it again. Now I can grapple the pillar. And this is just tile skipping. Tile skipping. Nothing's over there. So our next spot is here. And it should be good to run here. And here. And then we're out of it. The more tile markers I get to put, the less time I spend putting them down. That means I only have one more route before I've done all of them to floor three. Do a little dance. Can I do another skip here? Awesome. Floor one's pretty easy now. Hey, this is our new route. And you're where I'm landing. Just run in front of the blade. Ah, oh, we're okay, so that makes sense why I was confused on this one from earlier. There's really nothing around the corner. It's just back to more tile skipping, except this one we don't even have to worry about anything. Just go from here and click here. Yay, gave me a boost. I think it's this tile. Yes. Okay, another sword. So this is just straight run past it. Well, that's easy. Let's switch it over one, just because it's the closest one we'll land on. On to floor three for the first time. One closer. We're going to exit over to here. One more to the side. And here are our first ones that shoot two at a time. Easy. Thank you for pointing out the grappling hook over to the coffin for me. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have actually seen that. Ooh, you're the first one that shoots multiples. So instead of this, let's mark this one. Because you'll be safe into over here to run through. Either got to do it in two sections, or we mark these to do here. Perfect. Can't do anything that way. See, it's just, uh, there's a coffin. So we can only loot the main chests? Or is there a way to get to that? So it looks like I want to start here. And, oh, I can do it after he throws it. But the goal is going to be... We want to basically try to do something like this to get here. Get here. Get over here. Not quite, but idea's right. There we go. We're locked out of floor four. But at least we get to finish this. There's not going to be any more really easy cheat ways to get through these, so let's just go. To the right. To the middle. Out of here. Beautiful. There's a gate floating here, and it's in the middle of a trap. That's fantastic. Yeah, let's follow it. Should have time. Maybe not. Probably not. Nope. Now we can follow it. It moves faster than I do. Interesting. Get over here. What do I need to do to conjure a portal? So I get to try to avoid two arrows being shot at me while running my way through flames that I can't run through. So we wait. Let them shoot. Step in and go. I... Hmm... So these guys are about to go. So at the moment, bottom is safe. Top is safe. Bottom is safe. 
I ran right into it. If I waited one more second, I would have been good. Okay, so it's not as fast as I think it is. Alright, we're through the first one. Alright, so top is safe. Bottom's gonna be safe. Top is safe. Bottom is safe. Meaning the scorch marks on the ground is what I'm looking at when I'm saying that. And then we're free. Just get around the edge. So really, these are my safe points. I can get rid of that. Not too terrible. Still don't know what to do about the portal. I want 250. All the minor upgrades are 100, the ring is 250, and everything else is cosmetics. Okay, that makes sense. I guess that just means we keep going. I have the agility level to do everything except for floor 5. So let's do that, see if we can get one of the pages. Are you kidding me? Uh, like I said, it wouldn't work on every time, but I step in the middle path. I didn't even step in the middle path, the arrow just hit me. What? There's NPCs down here. I guess a lockpick would apparently help, but I haven't really had a need for one yet. Ooh, a new path. You're the first one that alternates, but can I just run through it? Yeah, I should be able to just run through it. Should be okay. Oh yeah, plenty of time. Interesting, okay, so this one's not like a guaranteed. Ideally, I want to run down the middle, but the arrows make that difficult. Ah! The skip ahead actually hurt instead of helped. Get me out. No. And that takes me all the way to the beginning. Yep. Not so bad, though. Easy enough. Here's my sword safe spot into my destination safe spot. And it hangs out enough time that you can either follow it or run after it. We'll run here. We'll run here. And we'll get another chest. At least I hope we do. Ow. So that might be why I want to get a lockpick. And both of them lead down to here. Okay. Top is safe. I'm late. Yep. Dang it. Didn't get the arrow. Alright. Top is safe. Clear it. Middle. Bottom is safe. Clear it at the bottom. Not shabby at all. It's doable, guys. We're doing it. Ooh, do I get to find out what this actually does this time? Conjure. I don't have the runes to... So I just need to enchant it? With what? What enchantment do I need to cast on it? This is our first time down to floor four. Alright, what's waiting ahead of us? Are these just not activating? I ran one too far. I don't think I've seen this one or this one go off. So that should be it. Skip the lightning. It doesn't even stop you, it just dazes you. Right, because from here if I just click there, yep, it'll skip me right over. So we're safe here. And then just shoot it all the way to the end. Or not. Ugh! Okay, wait for the sword. Move to run right into the flames. Because you're terrible at timing. Alright, sword goes out, go to this one. Sword goes out, just run right through. I'm going to leave that marked for now, but sword goes out, just run straight through. Does that work again? And then I'll throw it. Oh, nope, that wouldn't work again. I got lucky. No, that would work again. I wonder if it's consistently like that. Is this just a really long hallway of arrows? Look at that straight away. That would lead us to another bridge or another portal. Okay, lightning. So sword's back. If I just click here, it should be fine. Come here, run straight through. Click to this one. Come up here. Don't do that. So it looks like mark this tile. No, this tile. This tile. Click to here. I could just skip all the way to there. So when the sword's back, here, 
here, here, and home free. Awesome. Just around the bend. You're an idiot, but it worked in your favor, so you're a good idiot. And into the trap. I was supposed to skip me. Okay. My tile said I was safe, but I guess not. What the? What the? Okay, this one kind of sucks. Get a line of the arrows. We're good here, so just skip this one. Into the middle for the run through, and to the right. Back to the middle, to the left. And it's on the left, so just hope. Hey, there we go. It's so dumb when they're placed like that. Because you just run right through it. I guess technically that's the end of one, and this way we also know to turn here. And that's floor four. All right. Well, it's only been about an hour, and we've already made it to four floors. We've brought in the level five enchant. Let's keep going. I guess this is my first time over here. There has to be plenty of time to do this. Run. Thank you. Tiles are marked for this trap. That might be entirely runnable, but I'm not going to test it yet. We spent too much time marking tiles, but that's fine. Let's try to make it to floor four one more time. Okay, but I still have the grapple. I really hope it can't break here. Stop falling. What is happening? Thank you. Why couldn't you have done that four times ago? We're good. We're good. Nothing to worry about. Perfect. Still trying to get the pages. I am going to turn ground items off though. That's kind of annoying seeing the coins everywhere. No. Watch me fall a hundred times on my way back across again. I had to say something. And this one doesn't have markers, so this is just a run. And we're free. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Just go, just go, just go, just go. No way. That worked. <laughs> Ooh, the fun one, okay. Yes, gorgeous. Barely made it. All right, is this a new route? It's not, all right. He'll throw the sword. Good to go. <laughs> ah, look at that. Do a little zigzag. We should make it. Hey, see, so sometimes it'll clip through me and other times I run through it. No problem. I don't understand. Oh, don't run out of nails. What the f- Great. We're out of time, but it's still decent practice. What do we got? Hey, gorgeous. All right, go. Turn here. I can't get that because I'm out of time, but whatever. There is another side to floor four that I haven't done yet, but I think we're good for now. We've managed to get the collection log for floor one, floor two, and floor four mysterious pages. Looks like it caps out the hollowed mark count at 250, but we are at 258 now. Let's get our first actual upgrade from the minigame. I find it kind of ironic that right as I'm now able to buy the hollowed ring, I'm not getting hit by the traps all too much anymore but it will definitely help, as well as being a collection log slot. Mostly because now it should shorten the time if I do happen to run into the traps. I wonder. Nope, it can only go to and from the backpack, so anything I have equipped, the grapple and the ring, I have to keep taking them off. And with our first true upgrade from the minigame, I'm gonna get some sleep. Bonus clip! We're unlocking graceful set number three for me. 
the Brimhaven Blue set. However, my question, since I have the plain one in my inventory, and I'm wearing the Arceus colors, if I just click the recolor, which one will it change? So instead, let's switch over to the plane, drop our purple, and see if this works. In your inventory. Okay, thank you. So let's click that. Get a nice six collection logs filled in and not leave behind my other colors. First the hood, then the top. Now we have the legs. Add in the gloves. The boots too. And finish off with the cape. The fourth favorite set is now obtained. And now we add it into the wardrobe. We'll possibly see it again in the future. But for now we stay tried and true.